what's going on guys so uh, I just finished my morning cardio it's been a while since I've done a vlog but uh, right now it's about it's almost 9 a.m. Uh, I woke up around 6 6 30 did a little bit of work and then hit my 20 minute cardio so I try to do 40 minutes of cardio every day right now that's what I'm on about 400 calories burnt so uh, the way I do it is I split it in two so I'll do my morning cardio 20 minutes and then I'll do an afternoon cardio after my training for 20 minutes it's been working out well for me man uh, I feel good in my body right now I'm gonna take a shower and then I'm gonna get ready to head out to the live shopping that I'm doing today as you guys saw uh, in partnership with Essence I've been working with them to just provide you guys some spring summer pieces to wear and to shop and you can actually shop through the live shopping while I'm kind of like trying on the clothes and telling you guys how it fits um, I usually tend to leave uh, every link uh, for every episode on YouTube. So right now we've been testing out different times. But for you guys, if you could actually comment down below, what do you think is the best time? Like for me, I think a Saturday 10 a.m. would be good because I feel like most people are just at home having their coffee or their tea um, and they could tune in. Uh, so, so let me know what you guys think. Uh, what time and date would work best? For these live shopping and just providing you guys with my take on some of these pieces all right so here's my uh daily oils that i actually use so here we have uh, some vitamin e which i usually mix with this serum this vitamin e serum both of these you can actually find them on amazon i'll leave a link for you guys in case you're interested um this one is by mario madescu i think the name is and then this one is by uh Hollister. So yeah, these are, I usually mix these two uh, and that's about it for my skincare routine during the day. Um, and then sometimes I'll use this Aesop uh, face uh, cream here and or I'll use uh, this Youth to the People. This one is actually really good. There is uh, uh, a face cleanser that I use uh, from this brand that's actually really good. Um, so yeah, that's kind of been my skincare routine. Um, the last the last few years out that's about it in terms of skincare and then I have this beard balm that I've been using for years by six men this is a brand based out of Toronto uh, this one I've been using I mean for a good three years I'd say you know um, and they have different formulas they have this one which is a formula 416 I think this is the one I, uh, I use most of the time uh, and then they have another one but I forgot what the formula is but yeah All right guys, so my Uber is almost here. So I just wanted to quickly show you guys what I'm wearing to step out. So we have the Random Identities Blazer. You guys have seen this one a million times. I actually have these new beautiful summer sunglasses by Cobram, love that brand. If you're looking for sunglasses, definitely suggest it. And then at the bottom we have my new pants by Julius. Really love the shape of these. These have been my go-to so far. And the Bottega Lean Boots. So yeah, that's the look. Of course we have some jewelry. Gucci, Bottega, and Emmanuel Bicocci for the bracelets. But yeah, that's about it for the outfit. As you can see, really simple, honestly. Uh, I wanna be comfortable when I'm doing these lives, so I usually tend to wear all black. But yeah, that's it on the outfit. And we're gonna head out because the Uber is right outside. Burberry, Homelang, Rick, Mo Bottega. So yeah, this is the selection for before the live. So this is what it looks like. We have everyone in the background prepping um, everything that we need to do for the live shopping. 
and then I'm just here. Everything is already prepped, as I was saying. And uh, yeah, this is gonna be the outfit. It's a, like just a Saint Laurent jacket, really loose fitting. It's perfect for the spring. And then I have my pants that I've been wearing consistently, like I showed you guys, Julia's pants and then the Bottega boots. But yeah, otherwise it's pretty well set up. I think we like to keep it quite minimal. So, you know, we have the clothes in the background so you guys can see them at all times when we're doing the live, which I feel like is quite important. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, and then today we're actually gonna have Eugene come on and try on the pieces. So it's a little bit more flowy because one thing we've noticed is when I'm trying on the pieces, the audio just cuts, kind of keeps breaking. So we're gonna try something new where we have someone come in and try on the pieces. Let me know what you guys think about that if you do end up watching the live or the replay. But yeah, uh, really fun and we're gonna get going soon, so I'll catch you guys once this is all done. or even just a pair of derbies. You guys know me, you guys know I would go for like possibly a derby for this look. And <laughs> somehow you guys get to see him. But yeah, this is what the jacket looks like. And you can see like, Eugene looks really good. Like even with just the outfit, you guys can see that this is such a good outfit. Like he's got this simple pair of black trousers. He's got his Dior loafers. And then you just have like a cool color, like this Kiko one. The reason why I feel like this color is perfect is because I feel like if you go all black, then the whole outfit doesn't stand out as much as when you have this sort of um, colorway here by Kiko. So really, really nice jacket. Looks great. Look at the details in the back as well. If you need to come closer and you can kind of see the details. Of course, Kiko has just been doing such a great job with the garments. And uh, yeah, great jacket. Thank you, Eugene, for trying it on. And then... Uh, all right guys, so we just finished shooting the live. It went really well, man. I really appreciate you guys that have been tuning in. It's amazing. And of course, a shout out to the team, Eugene, Amanda, Freddie, that have been helping me um, really like deal with the assortment and deal with everything. So the series is gonna be cool, man. I'm gonna try to shoot as much as possible and talk about it as it changes here on YouTube. And uh, yeah, man, just happy to connect with you guys again and do these vlogs. I'm actually gonna quickly head out because I have so much work for my personal shopping job. So I'm gonna head home eat something and then get to work. I'll check in with you guys when I get home. So usually I have my mornings pretty much fasted for at least the first few hours of the day, you know? Uh, I'll do the cardio of course and then I'll have a protein shake. But for the most part, I actually prefer it this way because Personally for me, I find that like I'm way more focused and uh, way more productive when I don't have any food in my body, especially carbs. I'm not gonna eat something too heavy because I'm, I'm gonna train afterwards. So I'm gonna quickly have this meal, finish a little bit more work, and then we'll head to the gym. All right, what's going on guys? So, uh, next day, gym was good yesterday, and now I just finished my morning cardio. So yeah, my routine really doesn't change, man. I try to wake up as early as possible, They're usually depending on what time I go to bed, I'm usually up between 6.30 and 7.30, I would say. And uh, yeah, I try to hit my cardio session just before work, so anytime between eight and nine. I'll usually do a little bit of work in the morning as well. So I like to listen to podcasts or you know videos here and there when I'm doing my cardio. And I came across the new Vogue video that uh, they did on Rick Owens and his home in Italy. I love Rick, man. I, I think I really love his mindset. And one thing that he said that was quite uh, interesting to me was how he believes he's more of an eliminator than he is a collector. And that kind of resonated with me because, I don't know, I feel like when we're in fashion and in clothing, 
there's a lot of like wanting to hang on to certain garments certain pieces because of like you know like you know i hear people always say you know this is a grail of mine and things like that and i think it forms like the sort of attachment towards i guess like you know the clothes and the, and the art behind the particular garment but I, i've never really been a fan of that man i i and and it's a reason why i feel like a lot of the times I love Rick for his mind and of course he, he, his, uh, his clothes too. He has this way of viewing life that is so balanced. And you know, the, the other things like you look at his wardrobe and he's like, oh yeah, I just have a couple of t-shirts and um, uh, some jackets. And I'm like, yeah, man, like that's great. You know, like there's no need to consistently be wanting to buy new pieces. And I think that was actually one of the reasons why um, at some point I kind of was like, uh, you know, I could always do a recent pickups video and it would do really well. But, you know, is that really the message I want to consistently be putting out? Like, hey, here's here's something new that I picked up, you know, and I'm like, you know, and also I have to think about it in the sense that like, you know, I get a lot of good discounts on these clothes. You know, people may not be able to afford these clothes. And here I am just like consistently uploading and giving you guys stuff like, yeah, this is what I picked up, you know, $2,000 boots. And I'm like, ah, no, you know, I'm not really about that. I I'll rather kind of just like give you guys my life and, and what I've been up to. And, you know, as you guys saw, like the live shopping has been going really well. I'm super happy with that because, you know, it's things like this when you're on social platforms and social media and you kind of look at it from a perspective of like, you know, I want to brand myself and I want to be able to you know, make other sources of income outside of my nine to five. And, you know, social media has really provided that, 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 that option, you know, and I think the more serious you take it, the more opportunities can come your way, you know, and, and I think a lot of the times, you know, it, it's still one of those things where people tell you like, yeah, I'm making money off of social media or these opportunities have come through, you know, uh, me growing a platform on Instagram or YouTube or here. And people are like, what, like, how, you know, what exactly do you do? And it's like, you know, it's, it's 2022, like people are making money doing all sorts of stuff, you know? So I don't know, man, for the, for the, for the few of you that watch these videos, I just want to encourage you, man, to really try to like keep your life balanced. I think it's very important. It's something that's helped me over the years, especially moving here to Canada in 2010, where you know, I didn't really know anyone. I really know, know how the system worked here because I moved from Africa, right? I moved from South Africa to be exact. And, and I was in Congo actually before that. And, you know, there was a lot of adapting that I had to do. And I think one of the biggest things that I, that, that I realized was anything was possible here. And I just needed to find a balance and to find different ways of doing things and thinking differently, you know, and always thinking about the future and always thinking about, you know, establishing myself in things that I'm passionate about. Because I think that like once you really find that passion, that purpose and things that you want to do, it's a lot easier to get going.